No. No. Maybe. No. Ugh, there must be a day out there for Tracy Tooley, young, ambitious history reporter. Even if I am finding work a bit tricky at the moment with that stressful report on Henry VIII. Hmm. Ooh, maybe this one. Wait, married six times before? Come off it. But wait, that's it. Henry VIII was famously terrible at the romance game too. Surely I'll really understand him if I know what he was like as a husband. Let's investigate. This is Tracy Tooley, unlucky in love, looking for enlightenment. Are you with anyone at the moment, Gary the Cameraman? My name's Dave. Oh, I'm sure you'll find someone soon, with dating advice from two women who've seen it all. Marjorie Horseman, maid of honour to three wives of Henry VIII and servant to all six. Name like a horse, heart of a lion. <laughs> Anne Herbert, lady-in-waiting to all six wives of Henry VIII and sister of his last wife, Catherine Parr. Name like Herbert, sweet like Sherbet. Okay, ladies-in-waiting, thanks for waiting. Oh, that's just our job, my darling. Isn't that right, Anne? I mean, it's not actually our job, but I take your point, Marjorie. Marjorie and Anne, what was Henry like as a husband? To be honest, stories I've heard have made me glad to be single. <gasps> single? Oh, you poor thing. What? I didn't mean... Now, Tracy, we've seen a lot of relationships in our time. Ups and downs, marriage and divorce. We'll tell you everything you need to bag that dream partner. Well, of course, the first rule is to be powerful. Henry VIII loves powerful women. Yes, but not too powerful, Marjorie. Remember Catherine of Aragon? Oh, yes. Oh, dear. She was the aunt of Emperor Charles V, one of Henry's great rivals. Henry didn't like that. He became awfully intimidated. Especially when he wanted a divorce. But some power is good. Simple, isn't it? Sounds complicated to me. On we go. The Great Hall. Isn't it gorgeous? It's stunning. That's what Henry thought too. He had these carvings designed for Anne Boleyn. Look, you can see her coat of arms and the letters H and A entwined. And he decorated the Tower of London for Anne as well, with those lovely domes and the new Queen's house. Oh yes, such a shame Anne was executed at the same Tower of London only three years later. <laughs> Henry was so in love with Anne Boleyn. Yes, she let him chase her and chase her until he was half mad with love. Remember, you must make Henry fall deeply in love with you. Henry, I don't think I... Don't interrupt, dearie. No, no, never interrupt. But do be clever, spirited, and put forward strong opinions. Henry loves women with opinions who read lots of books. Yes, but not too many opinions. Remember Jane Seymour? Oh, poor Jane Seymour. Poor child. She had a terrible argument with Henry. Their marriage was on the rocks. But she was lucky because... She bore him a son! Hooray! That's the most important thing. Give the king a son who can continue the family line. Well, I'm really not ready for kids. Lucky, lucky Jane Seymour. The king remembered her forever because of her dear son, Edward. Of course, she died after childbirth. It's very dangerous give birth in this day and age. But what if you don't want to have children? Keep it down, my child. Someone will hear you. And then what will be left of your marriage chances? If the king wants anything, you must say yes to him. Even if it's a divorce. That nice Anne of Cleves just said yes to a divorce because Henry didn't want her and that was fine. Was it really fine? Oh, and be a moderate Catholic, just like Anne of Cleves. Yes, moderate, not too Catholic, not Roman. Catholic. Of course not Roman Catholic. If you say you like the Pope, Henry will think you're committing treason and have you killed. <laughs> <laughs> Onwards to the Haunted Gallery. The Haunted Gallery? Oh yes, it's just a name. A modern name, after our time, my dear. So called because the ghost of young Catherine Howard is said to run back and forth, screaming and begging not to be executed. What? <laughs> oh, and yes, and that's another thing. Be young and beautiful, of course. Like Catherine Howard. Make lots of friends at court. Just like Catherine Howard. But, but not too much. much. 
The king will suspect you of adultery and have you killed. All clear? No. Good. And if you do all of that, you, you might, might just... just survive. Catherine Paul, Henry's sixth and final wife. I know. I'm as surprised as you are. I outlived Henry, didn't get divorced or beheaded, didn't die giving him a son. Phew, am I right? Lol. Lol indeed, milady. So, my dear sister and maid have been telling you everything you need to know about love, have they? Yeah, they have. I've learned that Henry is actually the problem here. And I'm deleting that stupid swiping-based dating app because I don't want to conform to the crazy demands that are placed on women in love. If someone wants to love me for who I am, they can come to me instead. Right on, sister. She's gone mad. I think she has a point. Thanks, all of you, for sharing your wisdom. Now I need to do the end bit with Gary. My name's Dave. Oh, cheers, Gary. I knew you'd have my back through all of this. So, Henry, as a husband, shows us his contradictory character traits. He was responsible for grandiose displays of love and passionate affection, but also for brutal violence and for letting his desires for a son tear apart his wife's world. What do you make of this? Would you have wanted to marry Henry? Tracy Tooley wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot tent pole. Shout out to Catherine Parr for surviving that hot mess. Parr out, man. That's why I do the catchphrases. <laughs> <laughs>